From Hollywood. Oh my God! It's the Tom Likas Show. I know him. I know him. And now, and now, here he is. Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. We appreciate it. And um, we inch ever so much closer to the holidays and the end of the year. It's uh, amazing that this year is over in just a couple of weeks blows me away so many things have happened i mean imagine a year ago (laughs) anybody told you barack obama would be the president-elect you would have laughed your ass off with the jay leno's going to 10 o'clock at night come on or that all these companies were filed for bankruptcy or would be closing stores Tribune Company, Linens and Things, Mervyn's, Shoe Pavilion, (laughs) Starbucks profits down 95%, Easy Lube files for bankruptcy. I mean, there's another name every day. Did you have believed all this? Absolutely not. Me, I'm, uh, I'm totally blown away. As I look back over the past year, I'm... Uh, amazed at all the things that have happened, all the changes that have happened. And I thought it might be interesting to talk about some of that now that we're coming down to the end of the year. Because um, I'm not big usually on let's look back shows or let's talk about what happened this year. I hate on TV when they take the easy way out. You know, it shows like Nightline and 60 Minutes or a look back. Let's look back on what but. This year was extraordinary. Extraordinary. And and stuff is still happening. I mean, can you remember the last time you turned on the news every day and there was something almost every hour of the day? You wake up and you find out the governor of Illinois is being taken out in handcuffs. <laughs> Come on! Am I imagining things or has the world just sped up somehow? I can't believe some of the things I'm seeing. Uh, the past year has been... And by the way, we forget stuff that happened earlier in the year. How about the governor of New York State? Who's no longer the governor? Client number nine. Elliot Spitzer. And his wife, Silda Spitzer. Where are they? The Spitzer sisters. You know, we know you're a word about them now. So much stuff has happened this year, that's like old news. It's pretty outrageous. And so I thought it might be interesting to uh, to talk about some of the things that, as you look back 12 months, that are shocking. And, and, and talk to me about uh, perception. The stock market has fallen off a cliff. The economy is, is in a free fall. People are losing their jobs. People are losing their houses. Remember when the big story was that Ed McMahon was getting foreclosed? That's nothing now. (laughs) That's nothing. That's small change. I mean, I I was thinking about this today, and I don't know what. Maybe my mind is playing tricks on me. I don't know. But for some reason, this year, it just seems stuff was happening 20 times faster than usual. Stuff was flying at us like crazy to the point where every day shocking stuff happens and you don't, you you don't have time to be shocked because tomorrow something else is going to happen. Michael Vick went to prison. Remember that? Michael Vick. OJ is finally in prison where he belongs. And nobody even cares. 
I remember when O.J. was, it was such a big deal that O.J. was on trial. <laughs> O.J.'s going to the big house to stay. Nobody even noticed. So I thought it might be interesting to look back at some of the stuff that's happened this year. I mean, is there something in the water? Is there something in the air? Am I imagining things? Was this a crazy year or what? Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. It's the Tom Likas Likas. Show. Tom Likas show. I want 800 800 tom I'm just looking back at 2008 and saying I've, I've got whiplash from looking back at 2008. <laughs> Who can believe it? I mean, am I imagining things? Was this the craziest year of our lifetime? <laughs> Jim in Portland, Oregon, home of the other white meat on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Thanks for taking my call. Hey, you know, I think one of the most amazing things that's happened this year happened this week, and that was the doggone bankruptcy of Tribune Broadcasting. Uh, you know, I worked for uh, a company in Portland, Oregon, a media company that Tribune made look like, I mean, Tribune Broadcasting made the company I worked for look like KUJ Radio in Walla Walla, Washington. You know, uh, it's it's just, it's un fathomable for me for a company as sophisticated as Tribune to have all of the newspapers, which which are crashing harder than broadcast properties, all of the giant television stations, including KTLA, uh, you know, I, I, bankrupt. It's crazy. Well, I mean, here's the deal. Uh, the reason Tribune is bankrupt um, is not really the uh, lousy performance of newspapers. The reason Tribune is bankrupt is because a real estate uh, expert named Sam Zell, yes. who is an expert at taking various companies, pasting them together, and then selling them for more than he paid for them, the uh, sum being greater than the parts, um, he uh, just started to, to, to uh, assemble the financing to buy Tribune, and he borrowed a lot of money to do it. Yeah, yeah, Sam Sell. Yeah, I know, I know that name and I know his MO. So, well, that was an amazing thing. Tom, I do listen to your show daily. I really enjoy it. Uh, you know, I can't say that you're God, but you know what? You're pretty smart on a lot of stuff, but keep rocking. Thank you, sir. Appreciate the call. 1-800-5800-TOM. Talking about this past year, is it crazier than usual? And uh, did more crazy things happen this year? Uh, <laughs> I mean, you know, the end of the year, now we feel like we're going into a depression, right? We feel like that, whether we are or not. We feel like that. Got a new president coming in, African-American. Got uh, uh, the governor of Illinois selling <laughs> the Senate seat, uh, gets caught in a wiretap, and then is arrested. Uh, <laughs> a, a million, billion things happen. You know, it makes the times, when, remember the old days when... All we cared about was watching Paris Hilton being taken to uh, jail down in Linwood. Remember that was like the that was the big news of the day. Or when the paparazzi were chasing Britney Spears, Th- those days were quaint. Remember the good old days. <laughs> I remember when all we cared about was whether Kevin Federline was going to get custody of those kids. Those were the days. <laughs> Less than a year ago. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Seth of the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, what's up, Tom? Uh not much. You tell me. Um, well, I was going to ask your opinion about. I, I do agree with you that all these changes are happening right now. But why do you think it is happening? Uh that boy. You know, that's that's a question for the ages. Why are things happening uh, in such? Uh, uh, uh in, in such numbers, so many news stories, so many crazy things all at one time. And uh, I don't know the answer. I, you know, I have answers to a lot of things when people call in, but I'm stumped. I've never seen a year like this. And in my business, I got to tell you something. You know, there are years I've done this job where you're uh, putting it together with spit and glue, where, uh, you know, I, I always used to compare it to making hamburger helper. 
You yeah. know, hamburger helper is um, a little bit of ground beef and a lot of noodles and sauce. That's what it is. And it used to be in my world, anytime you get a little bit of ground beef, you'd be excited and you'd uh, tear into it. But a lot of the time, there's really nothing interesting going on, and you had to do a show every day anyway. This year, every day I walk in here, the the the, the sky is falling. Uh, yeah, it must be great for you, actually. Didn't think about that. Great for my business. Yep. Um, to be honest, I personally think this has a lot to do with, you know, uh, kind of a new generation coming up. Uh, you know what I mean? Um uh, well, there's a new generation anyway. coming up every minute of every day. Why are they coming up this year? Well, it's not like I'm trying to say there's, uh, uh, you know, a very tangible divide between each generation that you can classify it as such. But what I'm trying to say is that, you know, some certain older ideas are more relevant to an older generation. And these ideas are coming to pass, you know. There's new people around. I mean, Barack Obama, he's, he's pretty young. You know, he's only 50. So... Not, uh, I don't think I he's. Think he, I don't think he. I don't think he's even fifty. Yeah, it's not. He's forty nine. Yeah. But uh, either way, also we can factor out globalization. That's a huge, huge part of it. You know, China, all these other countries, finally, uh, kind of dragging themselves out of the what was really, I'd say, kind of a feudal system rather than uh, a modern society. And now, you know, their forces of production are more relevant. They're being more industrious. I just think there's a lot of things going on, and the result is we're seeing a lot of things domestically as well. Good point, Seth. Thank you. 1-800-5800-TOM. Crazy year, huh? Jay on the Tom Likas Show. Hey, what up, little Tom? What's happening? Not much. Hey, what, hey okay, uh, I got a default on my mortgage, Baroxin president. The big story, Dodgers going to the championship. Come on. Well, it's not the big story because the Dodgers, uh, as you know, didn't go all that far. Hey, that, at first, that's the far as we win in like about 20 years, though. Well, we, that's great. We won the first playoff series since 1988. Wow, hey, that'll we. Work. <laughs> that'll work. That'll work. We keep it up. Keep it up. Well, hopefully we get uh, close to the World Series, but CC Sabathia is going to the Yankees. Oh, yeah. Uh, right? And Mark Teixeira was just made some big offer by the Washington Nationals. He's not going there. Manny Ramirez, if he does come to the Dodgers, is going to come there uh, hat in hand because nobody's making him a big offer. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, we uh, love him over there. I mean, I mean, I mean, I right mean, the big free agent signing this winter for the Dodgers has been Mark Loretta. Oh, Loretta. Mark Loretta. You know, Derek Lowe is. Uh, they're saying he's about to be signed by the Yankees. Oh man. So well, how are they going to do as well next year with even less players? Well, at least we did it this year, then. Rafael call gone. Yeah. Nine. Right? Yeah, that's true. Want me to get on the list? <laughs> no, nah, that, that's enough. Hey, but what's up with, uh, did you work on that, uh, taking out LA Dodger style, like maybe throwing a v &E, uh Kurt Gibson? I mean, let's get ready for Dodger baseball. I mean, what's happening? No one has ever asked for that. We'll give it some thought, Jay. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello here to Mark on the Tom Likas Show. Hey, Tom. How's it going? Uh, it's going okay. How about this? The Iraq war is about to end. Uh, we had a vote there and uh, that they're going to for sure pull out in the next three years. And uh, I don't even think that it was the mention on, as a top story on the news. I didn't even hear in the first five stories. Well, uh, again, that's, that's reflective of how many stories there are. Uh, imagine that. Imagine you're fighting in Iraq and you find out that back home nobody's paying any attention. I, I and I think that it's. If you want to, if you want a question as to why this is happening, I, I think it's overexposure. I think that we are so uh, tuned in to the election this year that now you know OJ's being sentenced. This is happening, and frankly, people don't care as much anymore. Well, I think you're right about that. Uh, imagine the Iraq War. The country's at war, and no one's paying any attention. I can't even remember a recent story I've seen about the Iraq War on TV or anywhere else. I don't know. I, I was when the Iraq War started. I was a sophomore in high school, and, and I remember the teacher saying it was so important. We were watching Shock and Awe on TV, and now it's coming to like a slow, quiet end, as far as we know it. And uh, you know, we're concerned about very few things other than the economy. 
You're right about that, Mark. Thank you for that. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. And really, uh, have I been uh, dreaming here of all these things happen in one year? Well, your head could spin. Ben on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Tom. Ben. Hey, uh, you know what? I was having this exact conversation the other day, and I'm so glad you're touching on it. There, I mean, don't, let's not forget Stevens, the senior senator from Alaska, uh, you know, hosing, uh, hosing his entire state. That's right. Um, but you know what I think it is? I, I think that this has all been going on to sort of under our noses. We're just sort of been blissfully unaware of all these, you know, major things that are going on around us, and it's finally like a zit that just popped. And all of a sudden, blam, it all comes at us at once. And it seems like a lot, but I think it's, you know, I don't think it's any more. I just think the coverage has gone up, and uh, it's just a, like a culmination of, you know, with the election and, you know, all these, you know, Republicans getting busted, and then all of a sudden it just happens all in one year, and we're just sort of, you know, we're blindsided by it. Yeah. I mean, these are the people in charge, and and, and they apparently can't, you know, find their tush with two hands. Well, again, uh, Ted Stevens was part of that, uh, say, uh, what was that, remember that Randy Cunningham, and there were a bunch of these guys over the past few years who just dipped their hand in the cookie jar and nobody was paying any attention. And God, these are the ones we caught. Yeah. These are the bastards we caught. You can only imagine how much oh. of this is going on. And that governor in Illinois trying to sell the uh, U.S. Senate seat to Barack Obama. That, Come on. That guy, uh, who was it that uh, got busted in the Minneapolis bathroom, he's trying. He's still trying to plead his case. Larry down. Craig, remember yeah. him? He's trying to plead his case so that he uh, can get his confession thrown out. <laughs> and his the DA's, confession. The DA's are looking at him like, what, are you retarded? I mean, we just, we just looked at this thing. And you <laughs> Just admit it to it. Uh, um, you're doing the good, you're doing the Lord's work, man. I really appreciate it. Can you blow me up? Yes, yes, I can. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. It's Gary on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey Tom, how's it going? It's going great. You know, I'm thinking about that uh, the Tribune company going under. What I was wondering about. What happens to the Cubs and Wrigley Field since Tribune owned them? Well, on the one hand, uh, it was said that uh, the Cubs and Wrigley Field were being excluded from the bankruptcy. And I'm no expert. I don't know how you do that. But I do know the Cubs have been on the verge of doing a deal with the San Diego Padres to get their pitcher, Jake Peavy, in a trade. And now I read that uh, whoever's been negotiating that deal for the Cubs has to go upstairs to make sure that the Tribune Company can afford Jake Peavy's contract. Well, maybe Steinbrenner can lend him some money. <laughs> what a mess! <laughs> you have a good night. You too. Appreciate the call. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Here's Stephanie on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. How's it going? It's going great. Oh, good. I was just going to say how the fires in California just put everything over the top. It was just like enough already. Now, there you go again, the fires. Well, that was terrible when it happened. But yeah. so much stuff happens, you just say, okay, next, and you move on. Exactly. I mean, certainly the people who suffered and people who suffered losses and people uh, who, whose family members uh, died, uh, they haven't forgotten. But those of us who just sit with a clicker watching the flat screen all day long, it's just another day, another TV show. Yeah, but at the same time, it's just you change the channel and then there's just something else that that's going on, you know? Well, you know, when those fires were going on, it's all tragic, and I drove through Orange County when some of that stuff was happening. Right. But how many people, honestly, just like freeway chases, how many people were just clicking around going, oh, yeah, here's some good video here. Look at this. Look at this. Wow. Look at those flames. Wow. Right? Yeah. Yeah, I guess people are more into, like, car chases and stuff on TV. Oh, I think fires. flames are very popular. That's why the news uh, just puts on the same flames. By the way, half the time you're watching those flames, can you really tell if it's Goleta or Anaheim Hills? Yeah, it all looks the same. So I, I, I think they've got stock footage. You know, like the old Yule log on TV when they would show the fireplace burning at Christmas time? I think they've got stock footage of flames. And they just put it on. I, you know, with all the budget cuts going on in TV and the media, it wouldn't surprise me if they just take the footage of some other fire and put it on. Could you really tell what was? Could you tell if that's Malibu? No, people wouldn't. You know can't tell. Yeah. You just well, look at the flames. 
I just want to say you're the man. And can you take me out Lacey Peterson style? It would be tasteless, but I could. Amber. Hey. Amber. Amber, make you a Come on, Tom like is 1-800-5800-TOM 1-800-5800-866 It's the Tom Likas Show It's the Tom Likas Show At 1-800-5800-TOM That's our telephone number Looking back on the year Am I imagining this? Is it crazier than ever? It's crazy Every day, not just news, not just stories. One shocker after another. <laughs> just amazing. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Aaron on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Tom, what's going on, buddy? Not much, Aaron. Hey, talking about 2008, it's crazy in sports, too, man. Sports, uh, Plexico Burris getting shot and uh, Brett Favre coming back. What's the deal? Plexico Burris shooting himself. <laughs> yeah, with uh, sweatpants. Brett Favre shooting himself with the foot. <laughs> I mean, what a crazy year for sports and college football, too. College football. Uh, uh, remember the NBA play? Remember the, uh, remember the Lakers playing in the finals against the Boston Celtics? What year was that? <laughs> that was this year. I, oh, I said, this year. I got, a, I got another question, Tom. What do you think about the uh, college football, uh, the BCS standings? What do you, what do you think about that? Well, um, I do think we need to have a final champion. That's one thing. I, whether the standings are accurate or not, we need to come up with a final college football champion. I, I don't agree. care how we do it, but we need to do it. Yeah, I agree. What a crazy year. All right, hey, Tom, appreciate it. I uh, love the show. Can you blow me up? I can indeed. 1-800-5800-TOB. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello here to Rich on the Tom Likas Show. What's going on, Tom? Not much, Rich. I could not believe I would see the year where I'd want to bang Helen Mirren over Britney Spears. <laughs> Can you believe that hot octogenarian piece? Did you see those bathing suit pics? Uh, well, you know, for somebody that... You have to put the disclaimer. For somebody <laughs> that age... Yes. She looked pretty good, but I gotta say, having said that, I try not to be with somebody that age. Well, that's a good rule of thumb. Yes. <laughs> Thanks, Tom. Can you take me out old school stuff? Yes, of course I can. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom is our telephone number. Here it is. We're coming to the end of two thousand eight, and we squeezed about four years, five years, six years worth of news into one year. Amazing things happening. Amazing things. Absolutely crazy. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Are there any stories we've, like, forgotten about that have gotten trampled because there are so many stories? I'm just thinking again about the Iraq War. This country's at war. We have CNN on in the studio for the past hour and a half. I have not seen one frame of footage of the Iraq War. Not even one frame. There's a war going on. We're not even watching anymore. 1-800-5800-866. Mike of the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. Uh, you know, I don't think so much that this year, I think it's a lot like September 11th, that a lot of people were falling asleep walking through life, and, and when those towers went down, suddenly they felt vulnerable. Well, we were vulnerable the whole time. When we went back and we looked at the whole thing, we saw the coal was attacked, the trade towers were attacked, this thing was building for a long time in Afghanistan and Iraq, and and suddenly an event happens that wakes people up, and I think this year is the same thing. I was amazed at how long the, the economy was chugging along like a juggernaut, shrug, shrug, shrugging off the Iraq war, the deficit spending, and all I heard from four, um, from all the major news sources was four statistics. Unemployment is low, interest rates are low, the stock market is up, and... Um, I can't remember what the They never was. talked about the dollar being down. <laughs> right. They didn't talk about, let's say, personal spending was at an all-time high. Personal savings was at an all-time low. Right. Um, 
they didn't talk about uh, the fact that this whole there was a big gap between the profits that were being earned and, and wages were not. Were they, not did, they didn't that. talk about the fact that uh, people thought Susie Orman knew what she was talking about. Mm -hmm. And you know what's happened with what happened with a lot of those profits, and the reason the stock market kept going up, Tom, is because there's there's called corporate reinvestment and there's capital reinvestment, and if you look at capital reinvestment as a percentage of corporate profits. It has gone down, and the reason is is because the corporations started paying out dividends, which drove the stock market up. And 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 we're not we're not reinvesting. The corporations are not reinvesting; they're paying it out in dividends. Well, uh, right now, a lot of the corporations aren't paying any dividends uh, because they're losing their shirts. I mean, uh, so many have filed for bankruptcy or have cut back, and many more uh, just haven't announced what they're going to do yet. How long did how long did people think that real estate could go up at that rate? You know, my generation, I'm 43 years old. Well, people are idiots about that stuff. You hear these people call my show all the time. Yeah. Well, I thought I would buy a house because it's a good investment, you know, and I thought that it would go up because everybody's house was going up. Right. Well, I, I just to, to state a, a couple of statistics of my generation, the co college costs that I paid versus 10 years prior to me were 10 times the cost. The cost of housing was 10 times. And I knew that all of my generation was being saddled with debt and that ultimately this thing was going to break down. And I was surprised that it went on as long as it did. By the way, you are talking about being saddled with debt. You ain't seen nothing yet. <laughs> we're just getting started. You are correct, sir. I mean, seven hundred billion for the banks, one hundred and thirty-five billion for AIG. That's just those two. We might be throwing water on a grease fire right now. Yeah, <laughs> I think you might be right. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Sean on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey Tom. Hey. Hey, I just wanted to, to comment about gas going from what five dollars plus a gallon all the way down to a dollar sixty all. All in the same year, and not, it not even mattering because so many people don't even have jobs. Exactly, <laughs> so it doesn't even matter to them. Well, uh, the other thing I wanted to say about that, though, is that the con I, I own my own construction company, and we are absolutely booming right now. So if times are that bad, I can't wait till things really pick up. I totally understand, and I totally agree with you. I mean, uh, you needed dollar sixty a gallon uh, gas prices back in the spring, not now. Exactly. Now what All difference right, so, does it make to most people? Uh, not much. Not much. I mean, it, it's not going to change the auto market. It's not, People aren't going to go out and buy cars again because they're still going to be afraid gas is going to go right back to where it was. I completely understand. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. John on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, what's going on? Not much. I was going to talk about how about the Olympics. Oh, the Olympics. Yeah, that was this year, wasn't it? Oh. You know, I, I was most impressed. I mean, that was great that that guy, Josh Feltz, won, what was it, eight, eight gold? Well, uh, yeah, by the way, here's how much has happened. You forgot that his name is Michael Phelps. Well, that's it. Michael Phelps. <laughs> I, honestly, I didn't really watch You're him. You're proving my point. In the, in the Jamaican sprinter. That guy, he is incredible. I, I don't even remember that. Well, he ran. He's the world's uh, he's the world's fastest guy. I barely remember Sarah Palin. Sarah Palin. <laughs> Did, do you remember Sarah Palin? Yeah, I do. I was just a joke. Making sure. Yeah. All right, hey Tom, can you take me out? Uh, number nine. Client number nine style. Here you go. Number nine. The remorse I feel will always be with me. From those to whom much is given, much is expected. Number nine. Number nine. Number nine. Number nine. It's one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello here to Sherwin on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, Dad. How are you, sir? I'm doing okay. Well, uh, I just wanted to absolutely agree with you 100%. Uh, the Iraq war and the Afghanistan war is just getting no coverage. I'm actually about to go to uh, officer candidacy school for the Navy myself um, just because of the job market right now. And I have an MBA from UCLA. It's just really bad getting a job. You know? yeah. Those stuff aren't getting covered. But, uh, of course, I think, obviously, 
it's a good thing Barack Obama got elected. I mean, but that was a big coverage over there. But yeah, I mean, it seems like we just are glancing kind of over major stories like Olympics and uh, Iraq war, war in Afghanistan, uh, people losing their jobs in the economy, and uh it's, we're getting more coverage on Britney Spears and Paris Hilton. But we're not even getting that anymore. You know, Britney Spears, uh, maybe I'm just imagining this, but it seemed like a year ago, Britney Spears, Paris Hilton, Lindsay Lohan, and that Perez Hilton and his website predicting that Fidel Castro was, or announcing that Fidel Castro was dead, which he's not. I know, I um, had him on my Deadpool, by the way, so unfortunately. Fidel Castro or, or yeah. Perez Hilton? Uh, no, Fidel Castro. Oh. Yeah. Oh, every year, man, I have him on the Deadpool, and the bastard seems to live just one more year, you know? I know. <laughs> him, and, uh, him and Andy Rooney, I always have those two on. Oh, but... Andy Rooney will dance on your grave, probably urinate on it, too. <laughs> well, Tom, I actually agree with you 100%. Yeah, I mean, it seems like even coverage on that has been uh, not as much, and probably maybe is... If it's my imagination, but it seems like they're not getting into as much trouble, too. Do you think that has something to do with it? I don't know. I mean, the thing is, it just seems that nobody cares anymore. They, they, the, lots of people cared a lot, and now suddenly they don't care at all. Yeah, I think that they're worried about paying their mortgage or, uh, you know, even when you're doing things right and uh, getting a new job after being unemployed. And I think that's just superseding every, every, even gas prices going down. It's amazing. Good point, Sherwin. Thank you for the call. 1-800-5800-TOM. It's Jim on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Jim. How are you doing? Okay. You know, I was uh, driving home listening to the topic today. I just thought it was so funny with all these news reports this year. Whatever happened to that senator from Idaho that got copped off in the in the bathroom there? Larry Craig. Larry Craig, that was the one. It seems like he had a press conference saying that he was going to step down, and they never did because all these other news reports are coming out. I mean, it's just kind of funny. He rescinded it. He also had confessed, and then try he's still trying to rescind his confession. So, I mean, so he's still he's still in office there and hasn't really done anything. And he's he? still fighting uh, to, to get his... <laughs> <laughs> to get his his confession rescinded. <laughs> Unbelievable. Well, that's all I just wanted to say. I just thought it was so funny. Some of these reports that are just so amazing sometimes, and then, you know, kind of get pushed to the back page because of the Britney and the Lindsay news and everything else. Just kind of funny. Kind of funny when there's other things going on. And I was wondering if you'd take me out with a bong hit. I certainly will. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. Like is one eight hundred five eight hundred eight six six. The Tom Likes Show. From Hollywood, it's the Tom Likes Show. Now heard six days a week. Till then, Saturdays from two until six on ninety seven one FM Talk in Los Angeles. And if you don't happen to live in Southern California and you'd like to hear the weekend show, you just go to blowmeuptom.com. Click on the Listen Live button between 2 and 6 p.m. Pacific Time. There you'll be listening to our Saturday show. Six days a week. Six days a freaking week. 1-800-5800-TOM. This year has been... Um, it sounds trite to say this year's been crazy, because crazy doesn't begin to describe it. All my years of doing this for a living, I've never had a year like this. Where every day you turn on the TV, and some pillar of society has collapsed, or uh, something bigger than the last big thing that happened is happening. So much so that you forget about half the things that did happen. Robert on the Tom Likas Show, Hello. Hey, Tom, how you doing? Doing okay. Good, good. Hey, you know, I'm listening to the show here, and uh, all of a sudden it crossed my mind, what happened to the uh, the train accident over, what was that, Chatsfield, Chatsworth? I'm sure a lot of people forgot about that as well. Well, we, we, we know what happened. I mean... Yeah, 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 exactly. And, and I'm sure the same morons are still running uh, um, um, uh, whatever they call the Metrolink. I'm sure the same yeah. morons are still running that. 
Yeah, yeah. No and there'll be uh, no rapper, uh, uh, no uh, repercussions. Yeah. <laughs> I was Everybody, conductor still text messaging and everything, probably. Uh, yeah, they, <laughs> are they text messaging the engineer in his coffin? Are they? Uh, yeah. <laughs> he's there in hell. Yeah, man. It's text crazy. messaging for that big locomotive, uh, locomotive in the ground. Yeah, yeah. You know, man, it's been such a crazy year. It's just, I mean, it's like you said, it's, all these things are happening all at once, and it's just, it's crazy, man. It's totally crazy. Yeah. Well, hey, Tom, thanks. I appreciate that. You know what? Can you take me out, uh, Shaq Style? Shaq Style. Yes. Yes, I can. Kobe, tell me how my ass tastes. Okay, everybody. Kobe, tell me how my ass tastes. I'll always remember that. Shaq won't be playing Sunday against the Lakers, by the way, if you're aware. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Rodney on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Rodney. Let's talk reality here for just a moment. Okay. Okay. What the real story is, is George Bush, uh, depending on the CIA, which is an oxymoron statement right there, for weapons of mass destruction to start the day off, and then Greece, and then he forces everybody into rehiring as president, and then we get Alan Greenspan letting the world loose. That's what happened. <laughs> Remember Alan Greenspan? Uh, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, um, any, any, uh, anything. By the way, wouldn't it be nice if Alan Greenspan came back and paid off somebody's subprime mortgage as a showing of good faith? You know, how about if Alan Greenspan stepped in and tried to help out for a couple minutes? Uh, he, he put us in this position. He must know the way out unless he was figuring out, ah, you know what, it's time to resign. Well, he's gone now, thank goodness. one 800 800 tom That's our telephone number. John on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, what's up, Tom? I'd love your show, man. Um, thank I you. I want to put in my two cents into this topic. Um, what about the topic off a few days ago and... F-18 Army jet landing on somebody's home in San Diego. Oh, yeah. yeah killed, no, uh, was it three people killed there? Three, I believe. Four. Oh, no, there's one more. They found another one now. Um, the guy lost his two kids, his two young daughters, his wife, and uh, his mother-in-law. Oh, boy. So, so it's four people now, and that's just the top of horrible year that we've been having, man. You know, you notice they never land on, like, Osama bin Laden or somebody you really want the plane to land on? <laughs> yeah, yeah, but, I mean, that's just my sense of, can you take me out African travel style, Tom? I certainly can. Baninge, 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 so penza. Baninge, 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 so penza. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello to Adam on the Tom Likas show. Hello, Adam. Hey, Tom. Um, I just want to know if you've heard about uh, the superintendent of L.A. He's, he's about to get bought out, so the L.A. taxpayers are on the hook for these national uh, bailouts. And I'm hooked for about a million dollars for a guy who couldn't do his job. Well, if you're a taxpayer in Los Angeles, uh, I don't know if you're a property taxpayer, but I know my property taxes are up substantially. Just over the last two years, substantially. And uh, everything, including my garbage pickup uh, on my DWP bill, which is like two or three times what it used to be. And, um, you know, uh, L.A. is run by a bunch of morons. And it's uh, very politically charged and very politically correct. So first they hire the African-American head of the school board. Uh, then they all hound him out of office and talk about how incompetent he is. Now, if the guy was incompetent, how did he get hired? And, and you know what the thing is, Tom? I, I work in LAUSD. The school I work at is great, good kids, good staff. And because we do so well and because our test scores are so high, we get less money than any other school in the district. And, and so our, our best and brightest are being brought back to the pack. And that's some of the, the thinking that's going on in our school districts right now. That'll be a story. In two or three years, that'll be what we'll be talking about at the end of time in 2010 is what happened to our schools? Because it, it's, it's about to just hit a hit a crossroads here. Oh, yeah, but Viragosa, he was the education mayor, remember? He was the education mayor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's the education mayor. Or he's the uh, banging uh, women behind his wife mayor. I don't know. We, we're, 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 that's, that's one good. or the other. He's good at one of those things. I know that. Yeah, I, by the way, we don't know that he was good at that either. 
<laughs> I know. Hey, uh, someone else got taken out Shaq style. Can I get taken out uh, Kobe style? Yes. Yes, you can. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Oh. Yeah, the air I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom, looking back on stuff that happened this year, so much stuff happened this year. You can't even remember what happened this year. Jason, hello. Hey, Tom, it's an honor. I know. <laughs> hey, uh, I got one. How about the uh, the death of Tim Russert? The death of Tim Russert. Now, there's a story. I have to tell you, as well liked as Tim Russert was, that story got way more attention than it deserved. That, that's true. He was, but he was a, a legend in journalism, though. Well, but nobody's paying any attention anyway. When's the last time you watched Beat the Press? Actually, I, I saw it uh, this past Sunday. <laughs> oh, okay. When's the last time more than three million people watched Beat the Press? Uh, probably not the uh, not after Tim Russert died. <laughs> Even when Tim Russert was alive. Yeah, that's true. Uh, but hopefully that'll change because that's a pretty uh, important show. Well, in, uh, in, uh, the show has been on now for what sixty years. It was on radio first. <laughs> and uh, you know the 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 audience is not going to start going up today. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Well, hey, uh, it's an honor. And can you take me out uh, JFK senior style? Yes, yes, I can. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. It's our telephone number. Let's say hello here to Chris on the Tom Likas show. Hey, Tom, how you doing? Doing okay. Hey, I want to bring up a little uh, personal accomplishment you guys there did at the station, doing what the local authorities couldn't do, putting that bitch away for murder. Well, uh, we never uh, put anyone away because uh, the person <laughs> you're talking about... Uh, Awatuki Sue. Awatuki Sue. Uh, she ultimately uh, was not prosecuted. They did no. an investigation, but uh, she was not prosecuted. But we, oh. did, our, we did our part. Uh, oh, you, we, did, you did quite a substantial part. We got the uh, phone tapes. We uh, got the phone records. We cooperated with the Phoenix Police Department. And Maricopa County uh, couldn't close the deal or wouldn't close the deal. Our email address is tom at blowmeuptom.com. The Tom Likas Show.